Okay, to create this particle logo effect, first thing we're gonna do is go over and highlight our image, and then we're gonna right click and go to new comp from selection. Then I'm just gonna hit S and scale down my logo a little bit to fit in frame better. Then let's highlight our logo, right click and go to pre-compose, click okay. And now we wanna create a solid, so I'm gonna go up to layer, new, and then solid, click okay. And then we're gonna go up to effects and presets and we're gonna search for gradient ramp. Once you found that, let's go ahead and apply that to our black solid. And then in effect controls under start of ramp, let's grab these crosshairs and we're just gonna go ahead and click in the right center of the frame. And then we're gonna go up and grab the end of ramp crosshairs and click on the left center of the frame. And then let's change ramp shape to radial ramp. And then let's go ahead and turn off the visibility of that layer so we can see our logo. Now back up in the effects panel, let's search for shatter. Drag and drop that onto our pre-comp layer. Then up in effect controls, let's change the view to rendered. And then we're gonna open up a few of these tabs. We're gonna do shape, force one, gradient, and physics. So under shape, we're gonna change the pattern to glass. Set the repetition to 200. The extrusion depth to zero. Okay, under gradient, let's make sure we're at the beginning of our clip and we're gonna set a keyframe at 0%. And then we're just gonna move ahead about three or four seconds, and we're gonna set another keyframe. This time, let's make this 100%. Then change this gradient layer tab to black solid, and the other one to effects and masks. Now, if we go to the middle of our clip, you'll see the effects gonna start forming, but we wanna customize our effect a little bit further. So back up in effect controls under physics, let's go to randomness and set that to 0.2. And we're gonna set the viscosity to 0.2 as well. Then change the gravity to one, and the gravity direction to zero. Now lastly, up in force one, let's change the strength to two and grab the position crosshairs and move them to the center right of our frame. And then change the radius to 1.1. Now the last thing I'm gonna do is go to layer, then go to new and click adjustment layer. Make sure this is over our pre-comp. And then what I'm gonna do is go over to the effects panel and search for pixel motion blur. Drag and drop that onto our adjustment layer. And then up in effect controls, let's change the shutter angle to 360 and the shutter samples to eight. Okay, that should just about do it for this effect. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other videos.